What's up guys? Today we have the Sharper Image Thunder Tumbler. And what we're gonna do with it is unbox it and then go ahead and test everything it says on the box plus more. So let's get right into it. So what this thing is supposed to do is do some wheelies, 360 spins, and quick turns. I mean, it says 360 spinning car, so I hope it's gonna do that. Now it also says we got some LED lights and then we got some nice big rugged tires to help pop some awesome wheelies. Well, hopefully it wheelies. But if this thing can pop some wheelies, we have this big wheel on the back, which should help you ride that wheelie down the whole driveway. So we will see if it does that later. Now we've also got some tech stuff here. I don't know what it means, but if you do want to know what that means, and if you want to know more specs about this car or where to buy it from, there will be a link in the description below. Let's unbox this thing. So in the box, you get your manual. And then this very tasty silica gel pack. I'll save this for dinner tonight. And finally, your controller and car. So for the quick overview, we got a controller that has some joystick controls, an on and off switch, and then this button up here, which we will get to later. And then for the car, the tires on this thing seem quite plasticky, but seem pretty durable, and they are actually pretty big. Well, for the scale of the car, of course. And then this wheelie bar actually seems more rubbery than the actual tires. And then your on off switch is in the perfect spot, so rocks won't be hitting this and turning it off. And then the battery tray that have these little knobs to keep it from falling out. You open it just like that. This is actually really cool, but we will see how it performs later. And speaking of battery tray, you will need a nine volt for your controller and then four double A's for your car. Now let's install these and then start testing this thing. Now we are outside. Let's start testing this thing. Let's find out if this thing can pop a wheelie. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> Went under the car. So the answer is yes. This thing can definitely pop a wheelie. Now other than it being awesome at wheelies, it's also very controllable, but it's so hard to make it not pop a wheelie. <laughs> Check this out. Do some 360s. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this thing is hilarious. Now, if you do just want to drive this thing normally and not make it pop a wheelie, you just kind of toggle these back and forth until you get enough speed, and then it drives normally. Guys, look, we're breaking the laws of physics. Now, we're going to wheelie this car down the driveway and then see how far it can go from the controller using this measuring tape. All right, it seems like we lost signal, now let's go measure it. So this car went 70 feet from the controller, if only it was one foot less. But overall, not a bad distance for a $15 car. So I would say for 15 bucks, pretty good. But here are some things that I don't like about this car. The first thing is when this thing is up popping a wheelie, it's so hard to steer this thing left and right because it can tip over so easy and then once it tips over, it's so hard to get this thing back up. So you have the most likely walk over there and pick it up. However, there is some times when you just press the throttle and it will just lift itself back up. But I think the ground has to be like perfect for that. And the second thing is, since there's no screws on these front tires, that means that if hair were to get caught in the axle, it would kind of lock up the front wheels and you would barely be able to get it out. But I mean, really guys, those are the only two things I don't like about this car. I mean, the remote has no delay to the car. The buttons are easy to press. The battery never falls out. Oh, and if you're wondering about this button, that's how you pop a wheelie. And you've got pretty good range. So the remote is pretty good. And for the car, this thing is pretty sturdy, but you will get scratches on it. But I mean, what do you expect for a car like this? You get working LEDs. You got tires that actually grip the ground really well and a wheelie bar that keeps this thing up when it pops a wheelie. And man, this thing can definitely pop a wheelie. And you also don't have to worry about any rocks hitting the switch off because of the way it's positioned. And I have not had any problems with this battery tray at all. So it keeps the batteries nice and secure in there. And one of my favorite things about this is that there is absolutely no screws for the batteries, which means anywhere you are, if you have batteries on you, just pop them in 
no screwdriver required. Oh, and almost forgot, if you get hair or something caught in these axles, you can just take that screw off, take the tire off, and get whatever's in there out so that the tires can move freely. So if you're thinking about buying this car for yourself or somebody else, you have my approval to do so. I don't think you'll regret it. However, you might regret buying this car right here because there's just one reason that makes this thing absolutely suck. So I hope you enjoyed the review today. And if you did, make sure to let me know by liking this video. And on that note, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Stay awesome out there. Peace.